Recording has started or not? Yes, it is done. Okay. So last time we have seen that covering space, right? Covering space, lifting of maps. And then we have seen that you, if we have a map or we, if we have a path, then it has a unique loop, unique lift, right? So first of all, let, let just recall what was the definition of covering space and path lifting. So I have drawn just figure. So this is my S1 and this is my R, right? Now if we can define a map P by P S equal to cos 2 pi S comma sin 2 pi S, then we have seen that this is a covering map that P is a covering map. So that R is a covering space of the topological space S1, right? And we have also seen that that inverse image of this point is actually the integers, right? It is follows from the definition of the map. So this that's when it is this. Okay. Now, therefore, if we take any path here, say we are doing just only this path from this to this. That's mean that lift of this path will be this, 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 this in this way from from any integer you can find a, this kind of path right and in the last theorem we have seen that if we fix a starting point say zero then that lift is unique so therefore this lift is unique and this is will be the lift of this path okay and similarly if we want to change the starting point say we say that no we will not take zero we will take minus two then also if we take this path then if we start from this then that will be unique and why it is unique we have seen that that kind of local homeomorphism right and in terms of that we have found that it is unique fine now because of this now see now now, if you look at the topologically, not the mathematically, not the mathematically in the sense that not in not the based on calculation. Now, if you look at topologically, that's mean we can deform a space to another space. You can think that geometrically, this covering map is one kind of projection. Can you see that it is one kind of projection? That's mean whenever we have these points these 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 points these points project to the point this one zero right and whenever we have this kind of paths small so they are project to this right so that's mean that covering map you can think it is of projection but when if we take suppose in instead of writing this R, if we write R in this way. For an example, just take this way. Left. So we write R in this way. Now you can see that this point, that red point, that inverse image of this point, these are the integers actually. So this is my one zero, and this is my say zero, this is my one, this is my minus one, and this way we will have some minus two as well. And here we will have some two and this way. Now, if we write R in this way, obviously that R, it is homeomorphic to this because we just write R in terms of spring, right? For an example, if you take any spring and if you just pull along their boundary, then you will get a straight line, right? Now, similarly, in the topological space R is homeomorphic to this. It is called a helix, right? at one kind of spring it is and now you can see that you can feel now the projection right that's mean that red point is this now similarly if you take any this kind of interval you can see that that lift of this kind of interval or you can say if it is u 
then it is one you bar you tilde this one this one this way you have or here you will have some another right so therefore if this is your u then this will be your u tilde or you can say it is u minus 1 tilde, u minus 2 tilde, u 0 tilde, u 1 tilde in this way. Such that each of e, u i tilde is homeomorphic to u. Right? So therefore, we can think a covering map or covering space in one kind of just a projection kind of thing. Fine? So this is just a geometrical feeling. So whenever you have some topological space and if you take that lift of that then you can think it is in this way okay so therefore if we take that inverse image of this red point is any of the red point now first what you need to do you need to fix a point and obviously that zero is that it is not necessary that you have to fix zero you can choose any point for an example if you choose one for an example this then if you choose this way, then that the lift of this one from this path will be this way. And that is the unique one. And when it will move to this to this, then it will move to this to and from this point. So they are not self intersecting, right? So what is this? This means actually if you now that pull the boundary of that uh, spring, then you will get some kind of this interval. Okay, so this is just the idea of that covering space. So what is the meaning of the covering space geometrically? Okay, fine. Now in the last lecture, we have seen that if we have a path, then that lift of, there is a lift of path, but we could not prove that it is unique. So did I prove that it is unique or not? I forgot actually. No, sir. We actually have to prove it is unique. Right. OK, we have to prove it is unique. So that's mean what we actually proved last time. So we proved that. So first of all, we prove that let f i to x be a path it, it may not be loop right it can be any path so we are taking a giving a general statement so it is a path and let x tilde p be the we just write here it is covering space that's mean x tilde is the covering space and p is the covering map okay okay and we know what does it mean now we prove that so there is a unique lift of f starting from x0 tilde starting from any fixed x0 tilde which is belongs to p inverse actually x naught and p j path here I have to write starting from x naught starting from x naught right so we have proved that existence of lift now we have to prove that it is uniqueness so how we prove that the existence of path that idea was simple so we had this x tilde we had some topological space x we have that 0 1 this was my p this was my f and we have found that f tilde such that first of all what we did we just use that compactness of 0 1 right and what we did actually we found some partition of this this interval some t0 to tn such that each of this partition actually say 
ti ti i plus 1 that 1 goes to some u y f of u y subset of u y right so that's when we have proved that this is contains in some evenly covered neighborhood and here u y tilde and in since that u i that is p restricted over u i tilde is uh, homeomorphism so therefore we defined f tilde in that way right so that f compass f tilde so p compass f tilde equal to f on each that interval ti ti plus 1 so we prove that now we need to prove that that f tilde is unique now first of all So note that here how we construct f it was depending on that u y right that's mean how we constructed my it does not matter that is f tilde does not depend on the choose of the that evenly covered neighborhood which we choose okay so f tilde does not depend on the two evenly neighborhood. Okay. So first of all, that uniqueness is again simple. We just use the connectedness of this open interval. Uh, sorry, of this interval, closed interval. So what we prove now? Let f f tilde and f tilde this b to lift of the map f starting from x0 tilde okay and then we know that p compass f tilde equal to p compass f tilde dash both are f on each that ti comma ti plus 1 okay so we shall prove that <coughs> we, we sorry we prove that now right now we will equal i that we take the interval t0 comma t1 okay now how we construct that f tilde and f, f tilde dash so that way we have constructed can you hear me because it is showing that network is poor am i audible clearly so voice is breaking uh, sometimes but it's audible now just Okay, now now it is fine. Hello. Yes, now, now it is fine. I know. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Now what we will do? We will use that induction, and we will first choose i equal to zero. And we have also proved that that f tilde and f not tilde both are continuous, right? That is simple by the construction. Now note that what is that f of that ti, ti plus 1, t0 and t1. Now that is subset of ui, right? So that imply p not f tilde of this one, t0, t1, that is also subset of ui and p compose f tilde dash t0 t1 that is also a subset of ui okay so in other words you can say that p f tilde t0 t1 
that is subset of f inverse ui and again so this t0 t1 again subset of f inverse ui okay and we know that f inverse ui is a disjoint union of p inverse ui oh sorry 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 right p inverse thanks disjoint union of open sets okay so p inverse now we know that p inverse ui is a disjoint union of open sets okay and also since that ui t0 t1 is connected and f tilde f tilde this both are continuous right so therefore their image these two are also connected so they are also connected right now since they are connected and u p inverse u i are so it is a disjoint union of open sets so therefore each of f tilde t0 t1 and this one you can write it is respectively or you can say contained in so is contained in a some u tilde okay so we don't we don't know which u tilde it is but we don't know you know that it is properly contained in we can write it is properly right why it is because these two sets are connected right since they are connected and p inverse ui is a disjoint union of connected sets so therefore we know that so this f tilde t0 t1 and f uh, dash tilde t0 t1 both properly contained in a single u tilde right but also it is given that f tilde t0 which is my x0 tilde and that is same as this t0 which is belongs to ui so first of all u0 tilde it is given that right now since these two sets properly contained in a single u u tilde and we know that that first point already contained in u0 tilde therefore by the com by the connectedness we can say that f tilde t0 t1 that is subset of u0 tilde and f tilde this t0 t1 that is also subset of u0 dash is that clear that is simple logic right since both are connected and both has the same starting points and we know that both should be in a single u tilde so therefore that u tilde should be our u0 tilde okay and now we know that p restricted over u0 tilde is a homeomorphism right okay now we know that p0 sorry p compose f what was we have f tilde equal to p not 
dash we know that that imply p restricted over u0 tilde right now since these are homeomorphism so therefore we have f tilde equal to f tilde dash on the set of t0 t1 okay now similarly now similarly you just repeat the process you you have to just replace u0 tilde by u1 tilde and t0 by t1 then if you repeat this process then you will find that f tilde is same as f tilde dash on t1 t2 similarly t2 t3 and after some stage it will be tn minus 1 tn as well so therefore they are same on whole open in whole interval 0 1 okay so any any doubt on this yes just, just let me know if you have any problem so can you explain the last step like how f delta and f delta are equal like it's okay. clear up to that both of the images contained in u0 tilde. Okay, okay, right. Now you know this one because both are actually same as f. It yes. is the it is the by the definition of since both are lips, so therefore p not f tilde equal to f and p not f tilde dash is equal to f as well. Now both are same. What do you mean by both are same? That's mean if we restrict p over u not tilde then that is actually same and we know that this is a homeomorphism we know this and this actually so this is a homeomorphism now since they are homeomorphism so therefore we just apply that inverse of that okay sir. okay so therefore we are done because homeomorphism means it is a bijective so we are done Okay, so that is actually a simple proof, just step by step one. Okay, now in the same note, we can prove another theorem. Now, given a map, if from y cross 0 1 to x okay where y is any topological space we do not know we do not have any information of y it can be anything it can be connected it can be disconnected it can be anything and the map f tilde y cross 0 to x tilde lifting this then there is a unique lift or you can see unique lifting f tilde total y cross 0 1 to x tilde we can just write of f or here it is better to write then in that case restrict it over y cross 0 okay so it just says that it is the same same as before but it is a generalization it says that now first of all just consider your y as say 0 1 example okay y is any set but consider just y equal 0 1 so that we can draw the picture now then what is that now that will be this rectangle Okay. And 
and then now this is my topological specifics okay and we have another sorry we have another space x tilde now previously what we proved we proved that if we have a this one say suppose this is my 0 1 right now this has if if this is a path from this to this okay then we show that this has a unique leap so this is my say f and we have some f tilde so we prove that if say 0 f 0 tilde right we prove that we prove that this one so if we have this open interval 0 1 sorry close interval 0 1 only then we will have some map f f 0 say which is this one then it has a unique lift so we have proved that right now similarly just note that similarly from each of this interval whenever you are just fixed any interval this or this you have any interval you will have some path So this to this or this to this and we will have some lift and those are unique lifts right we, we know so we have proved actually so for each <coughs> single um, line line segment if we have some path right instead of uh, any map if we have a path then it has a unique loop we have proved in the last theorem now what we will prove here we will prove that not only this one if we have a any space in the right side and if we have say that space cross 0 1 then if we have a lift on only first one then only this segment then it will have a lift from on the whole domain so we have to prove that now the problem is so what we actually will prove so now for each y fixed any y belongs to this okay now if we choose any fixed y then say this is my y now this is y cross 0 1 that line is actually y cross 0 1 okay now if we fix any y then if we take a y cross 0 1, we know that it has a lift for each y now if we take union of all of these segments then we will have some union of lips that is fine but the problem is the continuity did you get my point since we proved whenever we have a path say 0 1 to some space x and it has a lift that's mean whenever we fix y and we have a path this one then for each segment y comma y cross 0 1 will have a path so that is no problem but only the problem is that continuity of the whole space this that's mean if if we if sir the by the previous theorem when we fix any y okay we can get a lifting f tilde so that whenever we have a small y and if we restrict over y cross 0 1 then it is continuous but the problem is that when you change the y then it may not be continuous did you get my point so if you have any doubt you should ask so why we need to prove this theorem you should understand that yes yes so you should so ask something. the map yes. Said the map f is continuous or not? Ma map means continuous. From now onward, yeah. when we write something, it is continuous. But why f tilde need not to be continuous? No, no, it may not be. That way we define. So for an example, for an example, in the last 
if you apply the last theorem then for each like y for each this y we have a line segment right and this for line segment we can have a path lifting so that's mean then we can get this y okay now we we by using the previous theorem we can get a f tilde from y cross 0 1 to x tilde okay we can get this map such that each of this is continuous such that this is continuous That means if you fix a y, then it is continuous by the previous theorem. You can construct such a f tilde. But the problem is that you from this, you cannot say that f tilde is continuous. Because you do not know when you change y, then how this map will change. I know you people have lots of doubt. You should ask that. Or if, if it is clear, then tell me that it is clear. Because I am going it's slowly. Uh, okay. Yeah, but, like it's fine for me. Uh, but I don't know if others have told. Okay. Good. Because I am going slowly because my aim is not uh, not to follow the syllabus, not to complete the syllabus. Because if I complete the syllabus, and if you don't get something, then there is no meaning of completing that, right? Because this is just the advanced topic. It is not that it is it will be required for all of you. So you have to complete that syllabus. Okay, so that's mean what we actually I'm trying to say here. By the last theorem, we have seen that whenever we have a path from when the domain was zero one, it has a unique lift, right? That's mean unique continuous function kind of thing. So similarly here, if we fix any particular y and if we fix that line segment, then again we can get a this kind of lifting for each y. So therefore for each y we can get a this is continuous. But the problem is that now we if we define f tilde such a way that take all of this f tilde restricted over this and take the union over that. Obviously we can define a map f tilde that will follow every property except continuity. So we need to prove that that is continuous. And to prove that it is continuous that with respect to y, it is sufficient to find a lift of some open interval of this, of some tube of that one. If we can find that, that means it is fine. So therefore, if we want to say about the continuity at y, you can check locally. It is continuous on the whole domain. So therefore, it is continuous. And then you can just use the pasting lemma. That is, it is continuous under this domain, this domain, this domain, and then take the union. So therefore, you will get a continuous function f tilde. OK? So that's mean what I am trying to say to prove to find such a continuous function f tilde. We need to find a tube containing this line segment such that that tube has a lift. That's mean f is continuous on that tube. Now therefore if you have infinitely many tube then also it is fine because it is continuous in each tube and suppose they are intersecting whenever they have common intersection then they they have the same value then it is we can cover via this kind of tubes it may it, it may have infinitely many tubes and f is continuous f tilde is continuous in each of the tube so therefore f tilde will be continuous on the whole domain is that fine with everyone so that is the main aim, okay? Fine.
So first of all, what we'll do, we have y cross i. We have a topological space x. And we have a topological space x tilde. Now this is my P. This is my capital F. Okay. And here we need to find something. Right. Now first we choose a fixed point Y belongs to this. <coughs> okay. We first choose a fixed point. Then what we will do? Now if you take this point Y comma T which is belongs to this. Okay. Then Y comma T F of Y comma T where it is it belongs to where X. Right now it belongs to X. Now we know that there is an evenly covered neighborhood U containing that F of Y comma T. Right? So therefore F inverse that U and then YT will be in that open set and this is my open right so therefore we take a basis open set containing this now say let in alpha comma say a alpha be open in y cross i say 0 1 such that say that s comma t sorry y comma t belongs to that n alpha cross a alpha subset of f inverse u okay and we choose in such a way that a alpha is an interval okay interval means it can be closed interval as well because if it contains the boundary point say 0 then it can be not closed, it can be semi closed, right? But anyway, it will be open in open set in this. So that is the reason I am not writing it is an open interval. Okay, because my domain is 0 1. Well, so we have this. So therefore, if we take all of this collection, n alpha cross a alpha, or alpha belongs to some index set covers the set y chroma 0 1 cross 0 1 this one right now again can you say that this is compact it is compact right because it is homeomorphic to the closed interval 0 1 now again this is the same logic as before now since this y cross 0 1 is compact. So there exists a again finite sub cover. So therefore n 1 cross a 1 n 2 cross a 2 say n m cross a m finite sub cover which covers this right. And also it has the property that f of that n i cross a i is contained in some evenly covered neighborhood in x. Okay, So that is the same one which we did in the last group as well. Just we have here that product this otherwise other parts was simple 
at the same similar right now what we do we take n equal to that n1 intersection n2 intersection nm okay so then we say that n cross that a1 n cross a2 n cross am again this covers that set now this is my advantage that we have a here singleton set y so therefore we can take intersection and we can we generally take that small open set because we are we just need any open set it can be very small okay so this covers this such that again n cross ai now is contained in some evenly covered neighborhood of some evenly covered neighborhood in x okay now what we do now we note that that a a1 a2 if we take these open sets a n this covers the set 0 1 okay so therefore again we know that so it can be this way it should be it covers in this way right so we choose this point my t0 this point is my t1 this point is my t2 in this way this is my tn so here this is one set so this is one set so in this way we have so we have a partition such that that n cross ti comma ti plus one that's collection where zero less than equal to i less than equal to n minus one m minus one covers the segment y cross zero one and now you can write that f of n cross this contains in ey where ey is n evenly covered neighborhood in x okay now up to this is there any problem Yes, no, fine, what? Is that fine? We are just repeating the argument which we have done in the last lecture as well. Right? It is the similar kind of thing. Okay. Right. Now, what we prove? Now, note that what was my F tilde? Now, F tilde was given. or we can that was is known now f tilde is known on the set where it is set y cross 0 0 right it is known right it is known in this set so that is it is known on you can say n cross t0 right so that's mean it is known on these sets and we also know that p compose f tilde equal to f okay on this set n cross t0 okay now what we'll do so that's mean say Y. Now let 
u zero tilde is the open set in x tilde containing the point y comma t zero okay such that p composed u not tilde u not tilde to u zero is a homeomorphism okay now what we will do we have this sets this one right now f of this n cross that t0 that is we know that that is subset of ui okay but from this we actually since this is not that now what is my u0 tilde now u0 tilde totally depends on u0 right so therefore we actually do not know that now f tilde that n cross t0 that is subset of u 0 u 0 tilde we actually do not know that this would be true if my n is connected and this is a connected set but we do not know anything about n so we do not have any information okay so therefore we cannot say that Hello. Yes. So shouldn't it be let u not tilde be the open set in x tilde containing the point f tilde y t not like y t not is in y cross zero one. Ah, oh, sorry. Thanks, thanks, thanks. You always miss that. Ah. Right. Now it is fine, right? Hello? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Sorry. That is just a typo. Okay. Now, but we know that this is a open set containing this one, u not tilde, but we do not know that whenever we take f tilde, that will be subset of u not or not. So u not tilde or not, because we do not know that. If my n is connected, then that will be true. But if n is not a connected set, that's mean if y is not a connected set then it may not be true. For an example, if my y is a irrational number or rational number sets, then also it is not true. OK, so this may not be true. Now, how to tackle these problems? Now, these problems can be tackled by take n dash cross t naught that is subset of f tilde this is inverse image of u not tilde that's mean whatever the inverse image of this one intersection oh, what is that set another okay in cross t dot okay now we consider this one now then we can see that see f tilde it is already given that it is a map on y cross t zero right so therefore this is a continuous function so this is a that's mean this is a continuous function this is an open set now this is open now this is open so therefore this is open now then y comma t0 belongs to n dash comma t0 is open and also it has the property that f of n dash comma t0 that is subset of u and f of f tilde of n dash comma t0 that is subset of u tilde okay 
and since p u not tilde is a homeomorphism now define f tilde on that n dash cross t0 t1 by p u not tilde that inverse comma f not f okay we define in this way uh, so why can't this intersection be empty this intersection this one uh, uh, f inverse u not intersection n cross t0 no, 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 because that should contain the point y, y t0, right? Because f of y t0 is already in u0. See? Uh, it is a open uh, set containing this. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it is in u0, so it will be in f. Okay, okay, okay. And we know that it is in n cross t0. Right. Because what is that? u0 tilde contains the point f tilde y t. That is contain this point, but we are not sure that is true or not. We are not sure of that. Sir, how is n dash cross t naught is open? No, that's because inverse because images of open sets are open. Because see, here I have written, so f tilde, it is known on this one. It is given that, in the question, it was given that you already have a path lifting on this set, y cross 0. So that means f tilde is a continuous function on the domain y cross 0. It is known. Okay, so it is just an inverse image of uh, continuous function. So it is open. Sorry. <laughs> but that's been uh, inverse image of open sets under the continuous function. So it is open. But okay. sir, like we are taking n dash cross t naught is as a subset of these two, but subset of open set need not be open now. No, no, no. What? So what is my? It is already given that f tilde restricted over y cross t zero. That is continuous, right? So it is continuous. So therefore, f tilde n cross t zero is also continuous. Fine. What is your doubt actually? Is that is it not clear? Sir, uh, can can uh, because it is open, so we can meet uh, y cross t naught to be contained in that open set. Na you are uh, n dash uh, cross t zero. I, I did not get you, your question. Sir, uh, this map uh, f tilde uh, inverse u not. Uh, uh, sorry, this set is open. Hmm. And it contains point y y y comma t naught. Hmm. So we can get an open set n dash cross t naught containing this y com y comma t naught. So this is open in that way, na? And cross ah. n dash cross t naught. Because uh, you oh. haven't written. No 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 no. See, first of all, what is? So you know that this is continuous, right? It is given. This is continuous. Okay. Is that clear? That is continuous. It is so given. We, we don't get why n dash t, uh, cross t naught is open or not. No, that is right. Right. I, yeah, no, no, forget about this one first. Now this is clear. This is open set. It is given. Sorry, it is continuous function. It is given. Right. Now because of that, this is also continuous. You know that it is continuous function. Yes or no? Is it clear? It is continuous function. Yes, sir. Right. Now it is continuous function. Now what is my u not tilde? This is open set in u x tilde. Right. So therefore, this is a open set. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Right now, this is open set. Now again, this is open set. 
Now intersection of two open set is open. Uh, actually, sir, we do not need the here intersection. The only if till the uh, resistance get to n cross t zero inverse, you you tell the not this is fine for that. Like, or we can just take the Actually, we will take such open set on uh, n cross t naught. We will assume that n cross t naught is such an open set contained in that intersection. No, no, that part is clear, and that is also right. We should mention this one as well. That is also needed. Actually, we are uh, like anyways taking intersection with n cross t zero later. We could have taken uh, like the f tilde inverse on y cross t zero itself. Uh, like if you take y, f f tilde inverse on y cross t zero on the entire domain, and then you take intersection with n cross t zero. Uh, probably that that will be like simpler to use because we know actually that uh, yeah actually right if we right. see but actually if we see that f tilde function is uh, it, it has already it already it has domain uh, as n cross t0 so why do we mean uh, mention again n cross t0 so if we take any inverse image of any z so it's uh, it, it should be in the domain of f tilde restricted to n cross t0 and its domain domain is already n cross t zero, so we don't need to. So we don't don't don't, don't have to take that n cross t zero. Right, 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 right. I am I am right. It is fine. So that's when you are saying that either you can take only here y cross t zero, and then take the intersection. Otherwise, you just take that intersection, right? Yes. Yes. Exactly. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. I got your point. Right. right. It, and it and. Fine. Fine. And that n dash cross t zero is nothing but an open set which contains the point y cross t zero, and this comes from the continuity, nothing else. Right. That is fine. Right. So anyway, I have mentioned that one only. So this is my open sets. This is the continuous function, and. Right. So, and it also we mentioned that y comma t zero belongs to that set. So, therefore, we always have another continuous function in this. So, we can get this one. That is fine. Totally fine. Right. Okay. Anyway, so whatever your uh, criteria, what I need, you just need to understand that you have a open set containing these points, so that this is true. Fine. So that way, which I have written it, that is not wrong. But anyway, you can take only here y cross zero, and then you can take that intersection. Okay. But if you write this one, that is not wrong. So I will not change the statement. Okay. So therefore, we get since this is a homeomorphism, so we define f tilde on this set by this, right? So therefore. So therefore, P compass F tilde equal to F on N dash cross T zero T one. Okay, is that fine? Now this is equal to this. Now what do we know that? Now see from this it is clear that again f tilde is known 
on n dash cross t1. Now f tilde is known. Now again we repeat the same same argument. So again we can take my u2 tilde sorry u1 tilde again we can take first u1 and u1 tilde and we can take that f tilde is known on this interval then again we can take that sorry not interval not this open set therefore we can take again take that uh, we can define f tilde on some n double dash because that n dash may not be same it can be a little bit different cross t0 t1 by p inverse u1 tilde compass f so therefore we can by induction we can again prove that this is equal to f on n dash cross t1 comma t2 and similarly by proceeding this manner we can prove that f compass f tilde equal to f on this sum n cap cross 0 1. Now since we have only finitely many intervals or finitely many partitions so after finite stage we again reach to a open set containing y so that this is equal to this on some open set this now tell me so any 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 doubt that is a long one so we need to go through it once and then we'll let you know okay good actually now we are just repeating the same argument okay just note that here which uh, i just want to mention here that here wh what is that n that is may not be connected actually i have written it is connected in the updated lecture note but it may not be connected so we have to change that one and this is also fine you can take instead of this one you can take y cross zero that is also completely fine. If you want to write that, then it is unnecessary. But anyway, that is also fine. Not wrong. Not wrong means fine. OK. Right. Now, from this, we can say that also this is a unique one. Why it is unique one actually? It is unique in the sense that now here, f tilde is defined on n cap cross 0 1 such that uh, all right For each u belongs to n cap that u cross 0 1 f tilde is unique unique on this segment okay now anyway we needed that uh, since you can say that since f tilde is unique on each of these segments so therefore f tilde is actually unique on the whole domain this one as well okay and also since we can get a continuous function on this kind of thing where n cap is an open set containing y so therefore it is continuous with respect to y as well and therefore we can define so if f tilde is defined on 
sum in one cap cross zero one and in two cap cross zero one. Okay, we can remove that cap. Such that if tilde now then if this is is non empty then for each w belongs to in intersection into f tilde is unique on the w cross zero one So thus, if tilde can be extended continuously on whole y cross zero one, and this is well defined. Okay, so actually, if tilde by this construction, if tilde is unique, it is follows from the previous theorem. So here we prove actually it is the Continuous. So why it is continuous? Because f tilde is continuous on this kind of domain, right? And then you can use the pasting lemma. Pasting lemma in the sense that if they have common intersection, then for each w, now again this is unique and continuous on this. Now since this is unique, so therefore f tilde uh, has the same value on this intersection as well. So therefore, it can be extended continuously on the whole domain. Okay. Now, anyway, it it is written. Uh, uh, huh. Yeah, but here, uh, like, if you use pasting lemma, then don't we need n one and n two to be closed sets? Right. Actually, both if both are open, then also it is fine. Uh, okay. But it is given in the pasting lemma that n one and n two both are closed. So actually, the actual yeah. statement is either both are closed or both are open. Uh, but how do we prove it for the both open case? Well, that is also simple because that way you can look at the proof because uh, in that case, suppose you have only uh, X is some in one union in two. Okay, then say if in one to X is a continuous function, say G in two to X is a continuous function. And then you can define H inverse U. H is, is just the combined one, okay? Is equal yes. to F inverse U union G inverse U. Inverse. Okay, now if U is open set, then F inverse U is open, G inverse U is open. Yeah, but is open. F inverse U and G inverse U are open in their specific subspace topology. So F inverse U. Is open right. good, 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 so good. There is point. some open side in X. No, no, no. no, no just listen, listen. Yeah. That is that is good observation. That means if uh, if inverse U is open in N one, right? It's right, right. Ah, uh, and N one is open in X. So therefore, if inverse U is open in X. Uh, no, that may not be true. So, for example, if we have zero one, uh, closed interval zero one. And you take it as a subspace of R, then you take the half open, uh, like uh, which no, is but like that is that many... is not open. But close interval zero one is not open in R, right? Oh, okay. So if you're saying that if uh, u one is open in u two and u two is open in x, then u one is open in x. Right. Uh, and similarly, it is true for the closedness as well. This is the same proof for the closed as well. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I'll think about it. Uh... Mm. The first of all, that is actually a simpler proof. But whatever it is, pasting lemma. Now, can you prove that pasting lemma? Now, suppose n one and n two both are closed. Then how to prove that is pasting lemma? Then you cannot choose actually open set. Then you have to choose yeah, the closed set. Yeah, we can sets. choose the closed. Right. Then again, you have the same argument. Now, now choose u any closed set. Now f inverse of u is closed in n1 and n1 is closed in x, so therefore f inverse u is closed in x. Right, right, right. Yes. 
Okay, so you, you need that one. So either both all are open, even pasting lemma can be taken for any arbitrary sets, not only only two. You can have any uh, collection of open sets which have self intersection some in some sense in some order maybe. Okay, and if all are open and if it is continuous and then it will be continuous on the union over all of this. But you we need either all the subsets that is whenever you have this ranges all are open or all are closed. Okay. Okay, just think about that. Okay, that is simple one. Good question. That is a good observation actually. So I expect that students should ask this kind of question. Now, now we are ready to prove that pi one s one say that point one zero is isomorphic to z plus. Now, how to prove that? Now, first of all, let f belongs to this pi one s one one zero. Okay. First take that means f is a loop in pi one s one one zero. Okay. Now we claim that f tilde sorry f is homotopic to W n. Do you remember what is the definition of W n? W n was definition of W power n actually n times product. It is by two sorry cos two pi n s comma sin two pi n s that was for unique n. So we need to prove that. Okay, f is homotopic. If we choose f is any loop, then f is homotopic to W n. For unique n, okay, we will prove that. Now, first of all, we use the first theorem which we proved. Now, since f is a loop, that's when it is a path. So f has a lift. We are not using that unique lift, okay? Just f has a lift, okay? Say f tilde. Now, what is f tilde? f tilde is a map from, or it is a path from where to where? Give me the domain and range. Give me the domain. Zero one two. Zero one two. R. R. Good. It is zero one two R. Okay, so this is a loop. And we know that. Okay, now this. Now we know that f tilde d is this f. We know this. So therefore, p compose f tilde one equal to f one. Now what is my f one? That is one zero. Right? Just put. The, because it is a loop. It is a loop, right? So f zero is one zero, and f one is also one zero. So therefore, f tilde one. That is belongs to p inverse one zero. Now, what is my p inverse one zero? That is which set it is? Z. Z. That is Z. So that means f inverse one is Z belongs to Z. So therefore, f okay it has a lift shape so zero. We are writing that. Starting from say zero, okay. So therefore, f tilde is a path from zero to some integer n, right? Now, can you give me another path which is from zero to n? We know that. 
this one is also a path from 0 to n path in R. What is W this one? Now that is S defined by what? Only N S. Okay. Now can you tell me that F tilde and homotopic to W N tilde? Is it true or not? Are they homotopic? If yes, can you give me one homotopy between them? Yes. Quick, quick, we do not have time. Can you give me a homotopy between them? F tilde and NT. NT. NT? Which NT? No, no, not NT. NST. See. No. It is not NST. Any other, any other one? Any, any, anyone can just give me one homotopy between these two. They are both, they, F tilde and F, W N tilde, both are path from 0 to N in R. Linear, uh, linear, uh, linear homotopy. So right, good, right. By linear homotopy F T, you can just write 1 minus T, F tilde plus T, W N tilde, because it is in R, right? Now, since they are homotopy by this FT, now that implies P compose F tilde homotopy to P compose WN tilde by P compose FT by this homotopy. Now, what is that? Now, that is F and that is WN. Right? So, therefore, F is homotopic to WN for some N. So what, what we proved actually? So we have taken F is any loop in pi 1 S, right? And we proved that then any loop is homotopic to W for some N. Now we prove that that WN is N is unique. Now we prove N is unique. Now, how to prove N is unique? So, we use the today's theorem, which we proved today. So, if F is homotopic to G and F tilde and G tilde are lipped starting from same points. then F tilde is homotopic to G tilde. Okay, we will prove this one. We, we prove this theorem today. Okay. Now, we prove that that is unique. So, if possible, F is homotopic to WM for some other m okay or for some m you can say that for some m we will show that that m should be equal to n okay if possible this now then if this w n as well we prove that so that imply w n homotopic to w n for some m comma n belongs to z okay now see what is w n it rounds n times and what is wm it rounds m times now remember that in the first lecture that is when i talk about the fundamental 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 group of circle one student asked that why if we, it rounds one times and it rounds two times why they are not homotopic one student asks that question now i told that okay for that one we need lifting now we use that now 
suppose W n homotopic to W m, then we show that it is true if and only if m equal to n. Why? Because by uniqueness W n tilde is the lift. Remember that the lift of W n because it is the sing unique. And W M tilde is the lift of W M, okay, and starting from zero. Starting from zero. Okay. Now you use the today's theorem, which you proved today. Now it is given that if W N homotopic to W M, that imply W n tilde homotopic to W m tilde. So that imply now since they are homotopic, so their starting point and inputting point should be same. Same as W m tilde 1 and which is n and that is n. So we are done. So therefore, thus for any f belongs to pi 1 s we have we can write this point 1 0 f is homotopic to w n for fixed n so therefore we define this map so thus define say g from pi 1 s comma 1 0 to z plus this group defined by pi 1 this f same as n. Now it is easy to just easy to verify that it is 1 1 on 2 and homeomorphism. So g is isomorphism clearly. So we are done. Now if we doubt that how we prove this today, that is f homotopic to g and f dash and g dash are lift starting from this then point, then their lift are also homotopic. Why we, how we prove that? See first of all remember that if say f is homotopic to g, okay, then we know that f has a unique lifting f tilde right from the first day theorem and today we prove that if we have any f say 0 1 cross 0 1 by taking y equal to 0 1 we can get that that has a lifting to x and you can define f of s t equal to that f t s where if 0 t equal to f of s, f of t. Oh, sorry. So if t. Not 0 t f of s comma 0 equal to f 0 s which is f right we know that we proved this one today okay so any any question so i have sent actually this one you can just ignore that part where it is. See here I have written this one. Actually I realized that letter 
Now you can read all of this. Just ignore one part, or I can give you the updated one as well. See this one. I have written here f tilde is continuous and is also unique by the connectedness of this. It is continuous. It is fine and is unique by the connectedness of this one. Actually, for this we do not need. The connectedness to show that unique. It is automatic. It is from the previous theorem. So I wrote here because in my mind it was that my y is closed interval zero one. But later I realized that it serves for this purpose. But when we uh, see that when we prove the general uh, general theorems for covering spaces, then y can be any arbitrary sets, any arbitrary space. It may not be connected, and anyway, for this we do not need that connectedness of this. So why may not be connected? Okay, so you can write that it is unique by construction, or it is unique as it is unique in its strip. Only that line. So is that fine, or shall I change, uh, upload the new file? Okay, so here it is details. So just go through that, and hope there will be not a problem. Okay, so first of all, so next day, so tomorrow, um, right? Next Sunday we will have a uh, quiz, right? This Sunday, not next Sunday. So we should have a mock test before that. So when we can address that mock test, so that even I am not familiar, so how to upload that grade scope? It is not for a mock for you. It is mock for me as well. So when we do that, suggest me one day. So we can do on Thursday or Friday, even on Saturday. Yes. 